DNO Green Technologies Berhad was founded in 2004. It was established to become the investment holding company of Omega Semiconductor Berhad, Omega Semiconductor Tech Berhad or OSTB, and Omega Photonics Packaging Berhad OPPB. The company was led by Tae Keng Cheong and Chim Tao Beng as Group Managing Director and Executive Director for almost a decade. Very determined leaders we have here. The company is in the electronic manufacturing service industry, specifically manufacturing and assembling LEDs. Through its principal operating subsidiary, Dominant Opto Technology Sundiyan Berhad or Dominant Opto, they are engaged in manufacturing and assembly LED for the global automotive industry. The countries that they are selling to are Asia, which contributed 69% of the total revenue for 2020, Europe about 21%, United States of America for 7%, and the remaining 3% are from other countries. I don't think you can find any useful information in their website, but their subsidiary site can come in handy. You can visit it at www.do.com.my. The company's revenue and gross profit for the past 10 years has been very impressive. Despite facing multiple headwinds in the global economy like US Euro sovereign debt issue and lower global car sales, they still managed to attain strong sales and gross profit growth over the years. A little hiccup in their operating profit where they incur high operating expense in financial year end 2012, which resulted their operating profit to drop massively. Nevertheless, operating profit has achieved an outstanding growth of more than 13,000%. Very good. You can also see their GPM, OPM and NPM have risen very steadily. A turnaround of negative in their OPM and NPM to double-digit margins. A slight drop in GPM in financial year end 2013 is because of their rise in revenue contribution from their lower margin business segment. Very impressive revenue to profit after tax as stated on the slide. The management definitely deserve a raise for their extraordinary delivery. However, one thing I don't like about DNO is they are not only in a net debt position, but also about 90% of it are short-term debts, meaning they need to service it within 12 months. I'm not sure if they're using it to fund their working capital or to expand their business, but either way, it's definitely something you may need to ponder on. On a side note, cash has been growing steadily. Their operating cash flow has been rather choppy initially, but they start to perform better since financial year end 2016. You can also see that they have been spending a lot of capex, as that's the nature of industry that they are in. The company start to pay dividend in financial year end 2017, although the amount is inconsistent. A very bumpy free cash flow growth, however one thing I find sketchy is their dividend payout. If you read their annual report, you will find out that they don't have any reserves sitting in their company's equity. Other than their share capital and irredeemable convertible preference share, which cannot be converted into cash dividends. That said, I was scratching my head thinking how they paid the dividends for financial year end 2018 to 2020 with no reserves and negative free cash flow. Hence, I concluded that they may use their loans to pay the dividends during those years. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on this. Overall, I rate their company 5.3 out of 8, which is about 66.25%. Based on its 10-year financial performance, it's moderate, not the best, but not the worst either. If you are someone who is a shareholder or going to be a shareholder of DNO, I would highly suggest you to study about the reasoning for the large amount of short-term debt, how can they stay consistent with their operating cash flow, and most certainly, what's their objective of declaring dividends during the recent years, even with little to no cash flow to distribute? Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more analysis like this. If you want me to analyze any company, feel free to let me know at the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to share my thoughts and analysis on them. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Fearless. Yeah, 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 yeah.